Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he has anointed me and sent me to preach the good news to the poor, to heal the broken heart. Good morning, Lord. In the text of today's Mass, of the Holy Soul is in purgatory. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to all my God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words. What I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my mistaken fault. Therefore, I ask the blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God, who by a singular grace gave the priest St. Pius a share in the cross of your Son, and by means of his ministry renewed the wonders of your mercy, grant that through his intercession we may be united constantly to the sufferings of Christ, and so brought happily to the glory of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the book of Proverbs. Refuse no one the good on which he has a claim when it is in your power to do it for him. Say not to your neighbor, go and come again. Tomorrow I will give when you can give at once. Plot no evil against your neighbor, against one who lives in peace with you. Quarrel not with a man without cause, with one who has done you no harm. Envy not the lawless man, and choose none of his ways. To the Lord, the perverse one is an abomination, but with the upright is his friendship. The curse of the Lord is on the house of the wicked, but the dwelling of the just he blesses. When dealing with the arrogant, he is stern, but to the humble, he shows kindness. The word of the Lord. The just one shall live on your holy mountain, O Lord. He who walks blamelessly and does justice, and thinks the truth in his heart, and slams his knot with his tongue. Who harms not his fellow man, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor, by whom the reprobate is despised, while he honors those who fear the Lord. Who lends not his money at usury, and accepts no bribe against the innocent. He who does these things shall never be disturbed.
lamp is placed on a lampstand that that they may before others that they may see the good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. Amen. said to the crowd, No one who lights a lamp conceals it with a vessel or sets it under a bed. Rather, he places it on a lampstand so that those who enter may see the light. For there is nothing hidden, hidden that will not become visible and nothing secret that will not be known and come to light. Take care then how you hear. To anyone who has, more will be given. And from the one who has not, even what he seems to have will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, today we, we celebrate the memorial of a Capuchin Franciscan saint. Saint Pius is what he is technically known as in English, but we all know him as uh, Father Padre or Padre Pio is the Italian for Pius. And uh, he was a saint who really fulfilled today's gospel passage, not letting his light uh, be put out to be covered, but to let it shine. Because although he joined the Capuchins, which is a, a very secluded, prayerful um, a monastery or, or friary, a group, uh, he was given the great gift of the stigmata of Christ after praying and thanksgiving in Mass one day, after Mass, and after that his life had changed. Because uh, although he would not leave the friary very often, busloads and busloads of people came to him for healing, for confession. And uh, though he desired and he said that he just wanted to be a, a brother, a friar who prayed all day, uh, he heard over 10 hours of confession a day, he was really a light to the nations. He was given a great gift, something he may not have expected. And it's also interesting how that gift was a form of suffering, right? Now the stigmata were the wounds of Christ. Uh, we think of it as a miracle, as it is, but he had the true wounds in his hands. So he had pain that went along with that gift. And so too, I think it is for us, it's easy when we look at the life of great saints, to say, okay, I can never be like that. You're right. God is not calling us to be those great saints. He's calling us to emulate some of their great virtues and characteristics, but he's calling you each to be your own saint. He's calling you each to accept the sufferings that he's given you as true gifts and to take those and to turn those into light. So often our sufferings can be a source of darkness, our sorrow for ourselves and others can be a source of desolation and sadness. But the Lord wants to take those and bring a resurrection out of those. He wants those like Padre Pio, that pain of the stigmata, to become the light that saved and healed so many other souls. So what is it today that you're dealing with? What do you carry? What sadness, heaviness that God is asking you to embrace with love? A love that will allow you to bring that as light to the world, to bring salvation to those you encounter, even if it's just with a comment or a smile or loving care for someone you meet. Our Lord is calling us all to be saints. Gather as one body and the crucified Christ we offer the following petitions. For all members of the church, may the power of the Holy Spirit guide us in loving one another and remain faithful to the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. For world leaders, may God be their guide in their efforts to bring peace to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. For the sick and suffering, may they find strength and consolation in God.
God's healing love. Let us pray to the Lord. For peace in our world, for the men and women of the armed forces, wherever they serve our nation, and for the safety of all first responders who serve our communities, let us pray to the Lord. For an increase in vocation to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate in our archdiocese, let us pray to the Lord. That through the intercession of Our Lady of Mount Succor, we will spare damage to life and property during this hurricane season. Let us pray to the Lord. And for those intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. God, you alone know the depths of our hearts. You know the prayers that we bring before you in words and unspoken. Please hear and answer them through your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, O God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, will become our spiritual journey. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of the Lord. Lord. Most merciful God, who were pleased to create in blessed pious a new man in your image, the old having passed away. Graciously grant, we pray, that renewed like him, we may offer you the acceptable sacrifice of conciliation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as in the festival of St. Pius, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of this holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing again with your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy name, holy, holy, Lord God. Father of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts we praise. 
by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, save you. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Lord, Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your word, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. 
Let us offer each other the Son.
Let us pray. By the power of this sacrament, Lord, we pray, lead us always in your love, through the example of blessed pious, and bring to fulfillment the good work you have begun in us until the day of Christ Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Thank you, God. Saint Michael the Archangel, the Friday's time, be our protection.